In this video, we are going to cover the ICT macros. Um, there are more macros about which I do not know. However, I'm going to uh, tell you about the macros that I do know about, and I'm going to tell you how they work, and I'm going to tell you the times. So, okay, guys, we're here on the micro NASDAQ, and I'm going to get us down to a five minute chart, and I'm going to walk you through the macro times that I know about. Now, I know that you all have the attention spans of squirrels, so you're probably going to, you know, already click off this video. Um, and so basically, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and give you the times right here that I'm, that I'm aware of. 0150 to 210, 0950 to 1010, 1050 to 1110, 1150 to 1210, 1450 to 1510, and 1515 to 1545. So if you don't want any explanation whatsoever about what I'm talking about and you've already clicked off the video, uh, there are the times. There's one, two, three, four, five, six macros that I use and that I'm aware of. Um, and you can just go ahead and click off. All right. So if you are still with me and you are, you know, you're willing to, to actually, you know, stick through the video, then let me go through what the macros are. All right, guys. So the very first macro that I'm aware of is 0150 to 210. Now, guys, this is the start of the London session. It's right when the Frankfurt Stock Exchange opens. It's 0150 to 210. And what is a macro? A macro is basically a short set of commands that the algorithm uses to start spooling to liquidity. So it's just um, a time window in which you expect that the market is gearing up to go attack liquidity. So, for example, if you see that from 0150 to 210, the market here was in a consolidation, and shortly after that time frame, we went and we shot lower and we, and we attacked sell-side liquidity. Okay, now that is basically what a macro is. It's nothing more than that. Uh, it doesn't tell you how far the market's gonna go. It does not tell you in which direction it's gonna go. It's just a time frame that you expect that, okay, the market is about to go attack liquidity. It could be during that 20 minutes or it could be after the 20 minutes, but you're, you're, it's a, a time that you expect that the market is about to go attack liquidity or spool to liquidity, okay? Now, does Michael teach the 0150 to 210 macro? No, he does not, but you will, see, you will see that the market at this time is about to go attack liquidity basically every day. So that's how I know that the macro is there. Um, so the first macro here is 0150 to 210. And you, as you can see, the market shortly after this time frame went and, and attacked liquidity. So I'm going to go through all of the macro times here, and I'm going to show you the same phenomenon. So let's get to the next one, which is 0950 to 1010. So guys, 0950 is an important time because it's 20 minutes after the New York Stock Exchange opens. And it's basically when all of your initial, the, the open is kind of over and your initial volatility is, is done. So as you can see, the market shortly after this 20 minute period from 0950 to 1010, what did it do? It attacked liquidity, right? So it, it shot lower. And even though we didn't make a new low, we ran we were running on these lows here at 0950 to 1010. Now let's go to uh, 1050 to 1110. Okay, now notice the same thing that from 1050 to 1110, what did the market start to do? Ran on that high, okay? So this is all timing guys. This is just when you're expecting the market to do something. Then as we come into the lunch session, let's see 1150 to 1210. Okay. Notice that what does the market do shortly after that time? We shot above liquidity. Now guys, the New York lunch session itself from 1200 to 1330, you expect that that, that session is, is gonna go attack liquidity as well. Uh, but you have a specific 20 minute time window here from the 1150 to 1210 macro. And then from there, guys, there are more macros that exist between 1210 and the next macro that I use. There, there are more. However, um, I, I don't really use them. Um, I prefer these 20 minute macros. So the next one is going to be 1450, 1510. 
Okay. I notice what does the market do again? We shoot on liquidity. The final macro that I use, guys, is called the market on closed macro, and it's from 1515 to 1545. And again, we're expecting that the market is going to go and shoot after liquidity, which it did here. That's called the market on close macro from 1515 to 1545. So as you can see, guys, notice that these are specific times of the day in which the market attacks liquidity, attacks liquidity, attacks more liquidity, attacks liquidity, and attacks liquidity. Guys, it's not telling you the direction that something's going to go. It's just telling you, okay, this is cueing your mind. This is the time that I'm expecting something to happen. All right, and so you can see the same thing back here in the London session. Did I delete it already? So I'm going to make this full screen and I'm going to zoom out. Guys, 0150 to 210, we, we attack liquidity. 0950 to 1010, we attack liquidity. 1050 to 1110, we attack liquidity. 1150 to 1210, we attack liquidity. 1450 to 1510, we attack liquidity. And then 1515 to 1545, we again, we attack liquidity. That's the market on closed macro. So. As you can see, guys, these are very powerful timing tools. Um, and this is kind of when the algorithm is looking to go and seek liquidity. Now, it could be seeking liquidity in the same direction that it has been all day. So just because you saw a lot of reversals in this example does not mean that these macro times always work the same. And by the way, guys, they don't always work. They work most of the time, and they're and they, they are very reliable the vast majority of the time. But if you have some sort of an economic release, if you have manual intervention, if you have uh, some sort of extenuating circumstance where the market is trying to get to a particular price level in a hurry, you might not see these macros work, but they work most of the time. Um, and they're, again, guys, you need to set your clock to New York, UTC minus four, New York. Um, I've given you the times. I'll give you the times one more time, 0150 to 210. That is the London session. 0950 to 1010, 20 minutes after the New York Stock Exchange opens, 1050 to 1110 the next hour, and then 1150 to 1210, those are your three New York AM session macros. Uh, and then for the New York lunch session has its own mac, like basically the New York lunch session from 1200 to 1330, you expect that to run liquidity as well. And then from 1450 to 1510, you have, uh, you have your, your next PM session macro, and then 1515 to 1545, you have the market on close macro. So I have one London session macro, I have three New York uh, AM session macros, and I have two New York PM session macros. Are there more macros? Yes. Uh, but I'm not familiar with them, and so I'm not going to teach something that I'm not familiar with. These are the ones that I know about. Um, it's potential that potential potentially Michael will teach more. Um, but I just wanted you to, to know the six that I'm aware of. A macro is a short set of commands for the automated system to go and perform a task, uh, and that task is to go and seek liquidity. So these 20-minute time intervals, um, or except the last one is a 30-minute time interval, th these are the times in which you expect the market is going to start spooling during that time window or shortly thereafter, Okay, shortly thereafter, you expect that the market is going to go and seek liquidity. I'm going to say that again, guys. During or shortly after these macro times, you expect that the market is going to seek liquidity. That may be in the opposite direction of where the market has been traveling prior. It may be in the same direction. It's not a directional tool. It's just a timing tool. Okay, guys, so in this video, I hope that you watch the full thing. I hope you didn't click off after 30 seconds. Um, I, you know, I really hate seeing people do that. But in any event, guys, I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, what macros do you use? What is a macro? It's a short set of commands during a specific time window to go and seek liquidity. The, th that's what these automated, the automated system does. Um, they do not always work if there is manual intervention. So if you have an economic release, if you have some sort of geopolitical event, you might not see these times work in the usual way they do. 
But as you know, I believe that the market is wholly automated, uh, except for when the, the economic releases, basically, and, and geopolitical events, so manual intervention. But I believe that it's automated the vast majority of the time. And so these automated systems look at these time windows to go and seek liquidity. That's my thinking. So basically, the first part of the equation of ICT trading is not price, it's time. It's time and then price, time and then price because the automated system has to work off of something. It has to have a variable uh, in order to go and execute its commands. I hope that makes sense. Like that's why I believe that the macros work because I believe that the market is an automated system. And so the automated system needs variables to go and perform a set of commands, kind of like a programming language. It, it needs a variable to work with. And therefore, I, that's why I believe that these macros work. Like the variable is time. Time is the first variable for when the market is going to go do something. And these six macro times are a set of commands for the marketing to go and do something. Ergo, right? A macro, meaning a script, meaning a set of commands, a, a computer programming language. Okay, guys, uh, these were your six macro times. I explained what a macro is. I explained how it works into the belief that the market is an automated system, uh, that the market automatically, you know, it, it automatically goes and seeks liquidity. Uh, during these macro times shortly thereafter spooling to go attack liquidity. So anyways guys I in this video we covered IC, the ICT macros that I know about the six that I know about uh, What their purpose is and the six times. I hope you enjoyed this video guys on ICT macros uh, This is gonna go on ICT basics by the way like comment subscribe